Attorney General Jeffrey Cox is understood to have shelved efforts to get a time limit or unilateral exit mechanism added to the backstop. A cabinet source said the changes were considered too blunt and have been dismissed by EU bosses. Mrs. May faces a second meaningful vote on her withdrawal agreement and some ministers feel she is certain to lose again. Because changes to the backstop do not go far enough to satisfy Brexiteers who backed Sir Graham Brady's alternative arrangements. Amendment in January Mr Cox is now said to be trying to secure an arbitration mechanism that allows the UK or the EU to provide formal notice that the backstop should come to an end. The EU is, however, resisting demands by British negotiators for an independent arbitration panel outside the jurisdiction of the European Court of Justice, according to the Daily Telegraph. Tory Eurosceptic Steve Baker warned the enhanced arbitration mechanism falls short of an amendment tabled by Sir Graham, he told the Daily Telegraph, this seems to indicate a satirical approach to fulfilling the Brady Amendment which the government whipped for. Community Secretary James Brokenshaw said, the Attorney General continues with his work to ensure we get legally binding changes to ensure that we are not locked in the backstop. Theresa May, Michelle Barnier and Geoffrey Cox, Image Getty, Reuters, that is fundamentally what this issue is about, ensuring that we are not trapped in this backstop arrangement which has caused so much concern, so much anxiety amongst my colleagues and MPs across the House, the negotiations are at a critical and sensitive point. People just need to have this little bit of patience to see how this now comes forward, a downing street spokesman said, the Attorney General continues to pursue legally binding changes to the backstop that are necessarily to ensure it cannot be indefinite. We will not, however, comment on the specifics of the negotiations at this critical stage. Scroll down for live updates. Goffrey Cox is trying to secure changes to the Irish backstop. Image Getty 8.59 AM update. 6 out of 10 Tory. Members oppose May's no deal vote. 6 out of 10 Conservative Party members oppose Theresa May's decision to give MPs a vote against a no deal Brexit, according to a new poll. The survey on the influential Conservative home website fan 62 per cent of members thought the government was wrong to commit to a Commons vote before March 29, Conservative home said, most of our party member respondents are prepared to accept no deal, with varying degrees of reluctance, and believe it is wrong for the government to offer MPs a means of effectively taking it off the table, certainly for March 29. And perhaps, who knows, for later too, Theresa may face a battle to get her Brexit deal through the Commons, image. PA 8.33 AM update, Tory MP urges Remain rebels to look at Malt House Compromise E3 MP Marcus Fish, who sits on the European Scrutiny Committee, said he feels sorry for Geoffrey Cox, he tweeted, UK's negotiating position is undermined by Remain rebels in Cabinet. And government, the Malt House Compromise continues to lay out the best strategy for how to deal with the EU at this point in time. For a reset and for Remain rebels to look at its advantages. 7.30 AM update, Labour MPs attacked Ariza May's Brexit bribes. Labour figures have criticised the Prime Minister's promise of a £1.6 billion package for left behind communities with some calling it a Brexit bribe, around £1 billion is being allocated using a needs-based formula, with the North West getting £281 million, the West Midlands £212 million, Yorkshire and the Humber £197 million, the East Midlands £110 million and the North East £105 million. Labour's Wigan MP Lisa Nandy called it more stitch-up politics. She tweeted, after decades of neglect a one-off payment designed to help the Prime Minister ahead of a key Brexit to vote will fail, and it will confirm to people in our towns that the government is not serious in its commitment to our communities, Shadow Chancellor John Macdonald branded the initiative a desperate bribe, the independent group's Brexit spokeswoman Anna Sobri branded it a desperate measure to buy votes, Brexit, what? happens next. Image Express, CO, UK, 8.03 AM update, EU investors double stake in British economy Brexit uncertainty has not stopped European investors taking major 
bets on the UK economy with new figures showing they have doubled the stick in the UK over the past three years. Data from S. and private placements in the past year, indicating faith in the economy's long-term prospects among foreign money managers.